What you are looking at is video footage of a powerful plenian eruption which occurred yesterday on April 17th at Indonesia's Ruan volcano. Filmed at around 8.40pm local time, the dozens of lightning strikes which you are seeing per second represent activity 35 minutes into Ruan's most violent eruptive phase to date. The orange glow at lower levels represents superheated fragments in pyrocaustic flows along with the wildfires they started on the ground, while the orange fragments in the air are falling fragments of lava ranging in size from a grain of rice to a car. And there is also a 2 km or 6600 foot high lava fountain ongoing in this clip. This powerful plenty and eruptive phase which created a 21 km or 69,000 foot high sustained eruption column lasted for 130 minutes, devastating large swaths of the 13.7 square km Ruan Island. Although social media footage of the current level of destruction is quite limited, I have geolocated partial views of exactly where pyroclastic flows scorched and then covered everything they touched. Of the 9.92 square kilometers of the island we have been able to view, approximately 83.8% of this has been wiped out and burned to a crisp. It so far appears that 160 of Ruan Island's 272 houses were damaged due to the eruption, although there are isolated patches with structures who seemingly remained intact. As for the largest settlement of people on Ruan Island, we do not yet know its fate, although early indications suggest it may have survived both widespread damage. Due to what was the most powerful volcanic eruption of the year, thick amounts of lapilli or volcanic fragments between 2 and 64 millimeters diameter fell on the adjacent Taigu Lingding Island, accumulating up to 3 centimeters thick. Some of these larger fragments punched holes in various roofs, but despite all of this, there so far appears to have luckily been zero casualties. In the last 36 hours, the evacuation zone of the Ruan volcano was officially expanded from 4 to 6 kilometers in all directions, but everyone in a 7 kilometer radius was evacuated, resulting in the displacement of 11,000 people. Before I continue with this video, I want to note that the individual who granted me permission to use these eruption photos wants everyone to know of this natural disaster and the people it is affecting to in essence not be forgotten in the 24-7 news cycle. Thus, it would be helpful if you can donate to help people of Taigu Lingding and Ruan Islands via this link. If any donations are made, I will at a later date post the money trail so you can see exactly how your funds are being spent. Since the destructive plenty and eruptive phase, volcanic activity has rapidly decreased although some volcano tectonic earthquakes have occurred, but far, far less than witnessed before the peak eruptive phase. Ruan is still erupting and for now has the potential to produce much smaller but still potentially dangerous volcanian explosions. Ash emissions are rising about 500 meters above Ruan's summit, but activity is drastically lower than witnessed on the previous two days. While another Plenian phase could still technically occur, the volcano is legitimately less active today with a lower tsunami risk than the day before. Also, the submarine vent which formed on April 17th has apparently completely ceased its activity. So, how large was the eruption which just occurred, which is still ongoing? After all, when its lava dome exploded, Ruan's summit not only decreased in height by an estimated 39 meters or 128 feet, but also created tremors and an explosion heard as far away as Tomohan City, 123.5 kilometers to the southwest. At its peak intensity, I estimate the Ruan's eruption reached a volcanic explosivity index rating of a 4 and that between 0.25 and 0.32 cubic kilometers of tephra was ejected. Also, 500,000 tons of sulfur dioxide was released by this eruption. Please stay safe everyone.